Hello everyone. So in this video, we're going to understand how to execute test cases. You cannot execute test cases if you have not created test cycle for it. So guys, we left at this particular step. After creating your test case, we will go and click on this Zypher plugin. You can see Zypher plugin here. Click on it. Here you have all the options. You can create test cases from here also instead of going on this create and creating it. You can create it from this side also. So Zephyr gives you a complete a board, you can say, a complete dashboard on which you can manage your test cases. So create a test case. If you want to search a particular test case, you can click on this section also. You can search test cases. Here we have cycle summary. Let's click on it. Skip tour. We don't want any tour. We're going to close it. OK, so we will be landed to this page. You can click on create new test cycle. When you will click on create new test cycle version unscheduled. If we have already scheduled the things we can write down the version when we are starting. So I'm just keeping it unscheduled right now. Name. Let's say I'm writing functional testing. Description. So checking functionality of cart module. Build. You can give the build number. Let's say 1.0. Environment, you can write down the environment whether you're working in testing environment, production environment. So you can set it over here. From, so when do you want to start with the execution and when you want to finish with the execution, you can write it down. So let's say I want to start it then and I want to finish it on this. You can choose it accordingly and then click on save. So here you can see that functional testing cycle has been created. We'll go to our test cases search test and how to add this test case to a particular cycle you will go ahead and move to this section Zephyr actions we will click on add to test cycles click on it we will choose the version which we have given so unscheduled cycle summary we will say functional testing so there is no particular folder in which I want to store it so nothing is coming up here so assign to you can choose name of the person to whom you want to assign it Let's say I'm choosing my own name. I'm saying Groeschen Stack, so I'm choosing it. So when the other team members will be attached to this particular project, you will get a list of all the team members and you can assign it. Right now I'm assigning it to myself. You have option called add to more test cycles. Guys, if you want this particular test case to be part of other test cycles also, let's say other type of testings, you can check it. This particular test case can be part of other cycles too. Now you can go ahead and click on add. So your test case has been added to a cycle. So let's move to Zypher plugin again. Go to your project. You can click on projects here and click on your project. Go to Zypher. And here you can click on cycle summary. And here you can see your test case has been attached to this particular cycle. But status of this test case is unexecuted means we have written the test case, we have attached to the cycle, but we have not executed it yet. So tester can go ahead and execute it manually or with the automation testing. After the execution, tester can update the status under this section. If it failed, you can change it to fail. So you have different status over there. If it is failed, you know you have to log defect from here. And you can attach this particular test case with that defect. If your test case is passed, we can go ahead and click on pass. So status will change over here. So guys, this is how you can update the status of your test cases. If you have not attached any test case to a particular cycle, you cannot update the status of your test cases. Now, if you want to generate report of this test case execution, we can scroll it down and you can go to test metrics. If we click on this, so this is my reporting section. Look at this. It is passed. You go to the section here. We're saying functional testing, there was only one test case under it. It is 100% executed. It is executed by the tester. See, test execution by the tester. This is the name of the tester who executed this test case. And this is the status of the test case. If you check this test case ID, guys, test ID will be auto-generated by Zephyr plugin. So guys, this plugin Zephyr has added a lot of value to Jira. That's why learning Zephyr plugin is need of an hour. Lastly, we will understand how it updates the 
Requirement Traceability Matrix, RTM. It will also create the RTM and RTM will automatically get updated with Zephyr plugin. So if you scroll it down, go to the reporting section, you will see traceability matrix here. It will report all the issues. As all other issues are either defects or maybe subtasks, task or story, so it need not to be updated. But if I look for this particular story here, look at this. For this story, this test case has been written. There was a functional testing for it. It passed. So this is how RTM will get updated with the test case written for it. And also it will show the status of your test case. So guys, I hope you understand the functionality and working of Zephyr plugin. That's all for this video guys. Thank you.